Hi, my name is Meinde Norg and today I would like to share with you the work I've done on my tripod floater version 2. This setup, as you might recognize from an earlier video on YouTube, is basically an active magnetic bearing experimental setup. It uses electromagnetic forces to maintain a certain distance between the module and the plate and therefore you can move it around freely like this. In many industrial applications and also in the first experimental setup that I built you'll see that the electronics and the controller are externally at least at several meters distance and therefore you need an extensive amount of cables to interface with the module itself. The challenge for this module was to build everything on board the controller and also the amplifiers driving the active magnetic bearings and all you're left with is one 12 volt cable. This is what the module looks like now. In this little experimental board is the, the controller and this electronics board drives the, the active magnetic bearings and interface with the sensors. This is an experimental board like the one that's in this module. It has a C2000 Texas Instrument microprocessor and has a row of pins that you can use to interface with the peripherals like the PWM and the analog input. I implemented three PID controllers on the microprocessor full blown with your low pass filters and notches and anti wind up running at 10 kHz and the PWM output runs at 15 kHz and the analog input interfaces with the sensors on the, on the module. In between the active magnetic variants and the sensors, I placed this electronics board. There is some line filtering for the power supply. There are three fairly small PWM drivers driving each individual active magnetic bearing, and there is some signal conditioning for the sensors. And as you see, it works quite nicely. And as I said, all I need is a 12 volt power supply to run this whole module. To run it you basically require less than uh, one amp of which less than half of that is actually used to float the module itself and the rest is used for the electronics, for the logic. The distance between the module and the plate is kept at a certain value with an accuracy of about 10 micrometers. And, and that for a module that's approximately 13 pounds. If you want to find out more about this or other projects, you can always reach me at mindert at norconsulting.com. Thank you, we have a great day. Bye.